have you ever experienced that? Like, um, that, that fear when you finished, you know, Night Squad of being like, what am I going to do? How did you navigate that for everybody at home who want to know how that feels? Because I remember you were doing a live with Owen and Owen was just like, after we finished Night Squad, I was just like, I need to book something. Was that something? <laughs> he was like, yes. I, I he was like, we're rent. unemployed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, how, how did you experience that? What was that like for you? So when we found out that Night Squad was canceled, we actually all found out on set together. Okay. <clears throat> we found out with about three episodes left to film, I believe. Okay. And so, which is very rare. Most yeah. of them we find out after the show's done, but they were, I mean, even though it was canceled, we were lucky enough in that standpoint to know ahead of time so the writers could rewrite that last episode into the finale that we would want. So that from that standpoint, we were fortunate that they did tell us before mm-hmm. instead of being blindsided later on. Oh, that was so, right. So um, during we found out that it was canceled, and then the next day is what I got the audition for Secret Lies of Cheerleaders. Yes, funny enough. So it was like right after she was like booked and busy. And then I, <laughs> I was like, let's hope. Let's hope. <laughs> so I went in on that Friday, auditioned for it, and then it wasn't until the following week that I found out I booked it. And But in between that week, I really didn't think I was going to get it. Mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, I auditioned and then just kind of like had it leave my mind because I wanted to focus on those last few weeks of Night Squad filming. Mm-hmm. And I, I, remember, I, I remember talking with my team about it, and I was like, listen, I know that this is where like a lot of people get really stressed out and they don't know where exactly they want to go next. Mm-hmm. I mean, college and getting an education has always been very important to me. Mm-hmm. And like, I was very, very um, strict with my education in high school. Yeah. But when it came time for college, I, I decided my freshman year would have been the second season of Night Squad. And okay. I remember thinking, I just want one season where I don't have to worry about assignments and just like strictly Enjoy. work on the show. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, we were canceled. So then I was like, you know what? I'll sign up. I'll do everything I need to do. I'll go online, find a really good one. Cause I didn't, I wanted to find one that was remote through computer and everything just due mm-hmm. to working or booking another job. Mm-hmm. So I decided to do that. And then I literally found out I booked secret lives of cheerleaders. It's like, guess that's the new plan. I exactly. Will take it. Mm-hmm. So we wrapped night squad and then I started filming the next week for cheerleaders mm-hmm. filmed that. And then I missed the deadline for registration. So I was like, you know what? We'll just wait. It was coming up on summer. Like, it was coming up on spring, summertime anyway. So I was like, you know what? I'll just give myself the summer. We'll just see what happens. Mm -hmm. And then I was constantly booked and just, like, really busy with different events or press things. And through Nickelodeon, I was very lucky enough. They sent myself and my cast member from Night Squad, Lilimar. They sent us Mm -hmm. to Malta to do this cool like festival thing so we got to go there and we were busy with that and then through that team they asked me to do a few other movie press type of junket things with Mm -hmm. different cast members from like spider-man and uh jumanji and (gasps) yeah it was crazy (laughs) like in the same room as like tom holland and then the rock and jack black it was i would have combusted I, I couldn't speak. It was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my name. It was it was cool. Um, but so I was I was lucky enough to be busy with all of that. Then kind of once all of that passed, mm-hmm. it was coming up on fall again. So I was ready to register and I hadn't booked an actual acting job mm-hmm. just yet. And I was like, you know what? Let's do it. I'm just sitting at home. And then I got the audition for Julie and the Phantoms. So <laughs> just and then like, she every it. time I went to sign up, <laughs> every time I went to sign up and register and get ready for it, it just wasn't in the cards. So I just took that as a sign of like, not right now, maybe yeah. later down the line, but don't stress about it right now. So, of I mean, course. I was definitely stressed a little bit when Night Squad was initially canceled because it is that thought we are getting older and we're trying to break into more adult roles or more adult series and mm-hmm. kind of break out of the, nick and disney world and it's it's a little difficult when you go into it especially at that age because when you're freshly 18 or like about to hit 19 you're still on the younger side to where you can play a lot younger depending on you know if you look younger ish and yeah so it was definitely a little stressful but Mm -hmm. luckily everything worked out the way it was supposed to so you just once again i just had that faith that it was gonna (laughs) hopefully work out (laughs) But I feel like just the universe gave you that answer. Just like, oh, you're on the fence? Well, here's your answer, you know? Exactly. Um, (laughs) I love that. (laughs) 